I think I saw something over there. Where? I don't see anything. Boop! Bah! That's not funny, Rick. I'm a coffee drinker, you know. Where the heck have you been for the last hour? I went to check on Dolores. She's alright. But she was pissed off, and she broke my phone. It's alright. There are more cell phones in the world. You can get another one. Oh, it won't be the same. Alright, alright. Here. Joe throws Rick a cell phone. <laughs> you have a cell phone? If it'll make you shut up, you can have it. Thanks, Joe. So, we've been looking around here for hours and haven't found a thing. No alien, nothing. I think we should just call it a day. We're going to keep searching. I'm not going to let this story slip through our fingers. We're in too deep now. What was that? Look! Joe Ames' camera. Holy sh Let me see. Kate takes Joe's camera. Oh my god! It's the alien! Kate begins taking pictures. Joe grabs his camera. Hey, that's my job. This is great. A real live alien. This is going to make a great story. Well, what do you know? My grandfather was right. It's looking over here. Live long and prosper. I've always wanted to say that. Who or what are you? My name is Kushtin. I come from the planet Gozian, many light years from Earth. I've come to your planet in search of knowledge. Really? No, not really. I'm just here to visit my brother Marty. I was quite upset when I found him dead. So you didn't kill him? No. Actually, I thought he was sleeping at first. When I discovered that he was dead, I tried to revive him using an ancient Gosian electrospinal tapping technique. This technique has been passed down from one generation to the next throughout the centuries. Electrospinal tapping has been known to give life to those who have some left in them. You mean you put a plug in his neck? You could say that, but I like my way better. What happened to his body then? Well, that's the thing. You see, I seem to have uh, misplaced it. Mom's going to be pissed. I'm very sorry to hear about your brother, but uh, will you give us an interview? An interview? Your reporters? Oh no, headquarters is not going to like this. I have no choice now but to melt your brains into puddles of goo. Cushing draws a large ray gun. Nice work, Kate. Sorry, I got a bit excited. Hold on, wait. Uh, if we help you find your brother's body, then will you give us an interview? And not melt our brains into goo, of course. I don't know. If humans found out the truth, it could really screw up our cattle prodding experiments. Come on, Kushteen. You don't want your mom to get upset, do you? Very well, I shall not melt your brains into goo, and if you help me, I will let you have your interview. You'd better be professional about it, though. I'm talking 60 minutes quality. You said that you conduct cattle prodding experiments. Why is that? Well, head office believed that cows were the most intelligent life form on this planet. Everyone knows there's no better way to calculate intelligence than good old-fashioned anal probing. Anal probes are the most efficient way to calculate intelligence? Hell yeah! You mean humans haven't discovered that yet? Barbarians! You're living in the Stone Age, I bet you haven't even discovered gelatin and fuel cells. No, but uh, we do have video games. Video games? Yeah, take a look. 
Kate hands Kushin a Game Boy. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen! Oh, it's only Tetris. Only Tetris? The complex calculations it must take to form these blocks and lines? The millions of lines of code it must take to have them move and interact and connect? Bye for noggin! This is amazing! Cushing? Look at that! Zer! I got another one! Oh, phew! Brum! Zer! Ah, phum! Wow! Little humans are dancing! Amazing! Presented by Sean Forbes. A Yesterday's Moose production. Copyright 2005 and 2013. And every subsequent year after that, thank you for watching.